Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will design this pacing free card using these dimensions. So first we create new file and here we change to part design of range, create board, create sketch in XY plane. Okay, in this first sketch we will draw the sketch for this space, this face. So we go to sketch geometries and here we select round the rectangle tool and draw this rectangle and now select cycle tool and draw these two cycles and now select the two cycles and make it equal clicking this icon okay and now select this this tool this symmetrical constraint and select this point and this point and this origin point now this the point of this cycle and this point in this line okay so now we have to give the mesh to this sketch so in this model we can see that the pad of this face is 10 we have 42 and 110 in this dimension and here we have a radius of 6 so come back and select these two change the radius of this up to 6 and the diameter of these cycles to 15 okay and now select this horizontal distance tool and here change to 42 and now select this line and here change to 120 and now select the center of these cycles and set 90 okay you can see that this sketch is full constrained so now we close this sketch press home and go to this tool, pad tool and here we set 10 and ok and now we select this face and create a new sketch this sketch is for is for this part so here we select this center rectangle tool but before that we we extract this edge and now select this tool click in this origin point and now in this line and here we can see that the, the, the length must be 6 so select this vertical distance tool and here change to 6 and close the sketch and now go to this tool, pad tool ok here we see 105 for the pad But here we will set 95. Okay. And now select this face and create another sketch. And here we use this tool to extract this edge and this edge. Okay. And now select this polling tool and do this sketch. Press M3 times and now two times escape and click in this point pressing three times and click in this point okay so now select this point in this point horizontal constraint okay and now select this symmetrical tool select these points in this line okay and now select this equal constraint select this arc and this arc and now this line and this line okay and select this point and this point horizontal constraint okay so now we will give dimensions to this sketch in this model you can see that we have this 90 this 60 and the pad of 6 okay and this radius 16 so we come back and select this tool and we change the radius here to 16 okay and here the length is 6 okay and here we have 9 okay so this sketch is full constrained close this sketch 
and go to pad tool and here we check this option reverse it and the pad is six click ok and now we create new sketch but now in yz plane here we will draw this the cycle so we have these uh, these radius switch to section view and here we extract this edge and select the cycle tool and draw this cycle and here constrain the diameter of this cycle to 7 and now use this vertical distance tool and set the distance here to 105 and close this sketch and now we go to pad tool and here we check this option symmetric to plane in this model we can see 65 for the pad so here we change to this dimension and click ok and now we create another sketch but now in X plane and here we switch to section view clicking this icon select this tool and extract this edge okay and now we select this slot tool and do this slot so select this arc and delete this arc and now select this line tool and join these two points okay make this line vertical okay and now we constrain this point and this point horizontal constraint okay so now we, we select this tool symmetrical constraint we select this point this line and this point okay in this model we can see that the distance here is 28 we have this dimension we have this diameter for this cycle so come back and select this horizontal distance tool and here change to 28 okay and now select this vertical distance tool click in this line and here we change to 40 yes is that so now close this sketch go to pad tool and here we set 70 and check this option symmetric to plane and click ok and now select this face go to this only tool and here we set the diameter to 12 and the dimension here to to go click ok and now select this face select this all future and here we change to triangle and the diameter of this is okay here we have a radius of okay the diameter is 60 click ok and you get this wall and now we select we select this face and create new sketch and here we use this the center rectangle and we draw this rectangle okay so we can see that dimension is is full so we choose this horizontal distance tool and here click this line and change to full and close this sketch and now go to this pocket tool and here we set triangle and ok so now what is missing is this fillet and this chamfer so we select this edge and go to this chamfer tool here change the, the size to 2 clicking this edge button and select this edge and click ok so we have this and now we 
select this face no this edge and go to fillet tool okay we can set the radius for one it's okay clicking this add button and now add all edges okay okay we can see the radius okay something is missing some fillets Okay, clicking this remove bitum and remove this edge and now let's edge okay for example select this edge and click here again okay what is happening in this okay if we try to click ok we get this fail we get this error so okay cancel this select this edge and go to fillet tool again okay click ok to see what okay guys i don't know what is the problem with this fillet tool so what can i say is that we we almost finished the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video.